Hey guys, this is another cool blaster from XForceTacUSA.com. So they also have some more kind of beginner style blasters like this along with those performance or more advanced blasters. So let's check this one out. This is a Mini M416. These kind of seem to have taken the place of the AKM47s. Um, you know, they seem to be kind of an improvement upon that design because they give you this type of battery pack which I think is better for a beginner especially. They're less likely to, to ruin any wire harnesses. And you get the added rails where you can put accessories. That was always a downside with the AKM47. So let's look at this Mini M416 from XForceTechUSA.com. All right, first off, obviously, I said you got the battery here. So the battery is actually incorporated into the magazine. And they give you two of these. So that's really nice to get that extra battery. You're going to charge it the same way. You've got your white plug here and your USB adapter, go ahead, or your USB charger, go ahead and plug this into any AC adapter that's one amp or greater, so like a smartphone adapter, um, a tablet, something like that, charge that up. Okay, and then you've got two of them, and the cool thing with this too is how you can go ahead and just slide this on here so that you can have the second one ready and with you at all times, so that's a nice feature there. All right. So to take it off, your battery release is right here. This little orange button slides down. And when you put it in, it just clicks in. So let's give it a test here. Here it's shooting. Turn the switch off. Now it's kind of in safety mode. You got a nice orange tip for safety as well. And like I said, you got the rails here where you can put different accessories, which is definitely pretty cool. All right, safety glasses, of course, were some, eye, some sort of eye protection at all times when you're playing with these. We've got your grenade or pineapple style hopper. It's obviously going to attach right here. This is gravity fed, very reliable system when it comes to gel blasters because the gel balls are just going to fall right into the barrel when you're shooting them. As with all gravity fed gel ball blasters, it is occasionally what can happen is it'll try to double feed. It won't shoot. Give it a quick shake and you shouldn't have any problems, okay? Just know that that is a possibility with all top, top loaders. Okay, you got a couple, you got a thousand beads here, right? So you got a thousand beads to get ready. Um, if you haven't soaked gel beads before, very important to soak them properly. If they're not seven to eight millimeters, your blaster will not function right. Soak them four to six hours, use plenty of water in a large enough container so they grow to the correct size. Strain off any excess water, and then you go. You can store them for up to a couple weeks in airtight containers. Don't worry, they can't grow too big. You certainly can store them inside this hopper. However, make sure the hopper's never on the blaster, okay? But it's okay to store them if, you can, if this is airtight. So you should not have any issues with that. So other than that, kind of, that's it. You know, it's a pretty straightforward, pretty reliable blaster great option for somebody who is new to gel ball blasters or just anyone who likes this style because it will shoot pretty fast so that's pretty cool all right for once you do have some gel balls ready i had some ready here you're just going to kind of turn it upside down and screw that hopper in don't over tighten it you certainly can break hoppers if you tighten them too much and they'll break off the threads inside that bracket this one comes with the bracket already on here I would not mess around with it, guys. The more you take that bracket off and on, the looser it's going to get. And then the whole the feeding tube and hole is not going to line up. And that's just going to cause you headaches and problems. So just don't do it, right? So that's it for this. It's the Mini M416. You can find this on xforcetacusa.com. Again, I'll have a link in the description. Of course, we'll do a demo video. We'll test the FPS on it. And um, let me know what you guys think. Comments below. Like the vids, of course. Please subscribe. And please participate in the giveaways. Thanks.